Hello everyone, this is Bakari with Mac Automation. Um, I'm going to show you a little, another little tutorial here that's dealing with drag and dictate. Um, and this is for people who've kind of gotten comfortable with drag and dictate. Um, inside of drag and dictate, they have what's called a commands editor. And basically in that editor is a, a whole bunch of commands and many of them you probably already use. So for a command like scratch that or um, undo dictation, you know, those kind of commands, select all, those commands are already built into drag and dictate. Nuance put them there. But they also created this editor so that you can create your own, um, you know, custom commands um, and issue them in drag and dictate. And I want to kind of give you an example of how you can do that and, you know, how it's going to be save you a lot of time. So, for example, um, they have, you know, just a whole bunch of you know global commands and if you look down if you read down some of them you again you will see some of them are kind of familiar to you and the ones you don't know about definitely you know check them out and try to use them but the command I'm going to show you to uh, in this tutorial is one in which um, it's, it's, it's a series of keystroke commands and, and basically what it does is, is when I say the say the com issue the command copy document that's the that's the name I gave it, or that's the command name I gave it. What it does is it um, it, it does three um, keyboard shortcuts. It does a command A to copy everything, all the text in that particular document. I'm sorry, to select everything in that particular document. Then what it does is it copies that selection, and then it, it clicks the um, down arrow key so that it returns the... Uh, cursor where um, where it left off you know so basically you have three um, keystrokes that are executed using one um, you know like one command now so let me I can give you an example of that real quickly so let me turn on drag and dictate copy document New paragraph, clipboard. All right, do you see what just happened? So basically, what it did really quickly is it selected all this text and it copied that text using just a single command copy document. Now, I also have a similar uh, command in which I just say clipboard, and what it will do is it will execute the command V. Where which will it will paste any things on the clipboard or the last thing that was on the clipboard it will just paste it. So I'm here again, you know, I'm having I'm getting a uh, something a, 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 a um, keyboard shortcut done with just a simple command. Now to create these uh, com uh, keystroke commands is very easy. So what you're going to do is go through go here and select uh, the global uh, context. You know, this means that you can issue this command um, anywhere in your computer. And then, so you're gonna, and and that should already be there. But if not, you can create your own context. But right here, clicking this button here. Next, you're gonna go to the middle panel and um, create, uh, click the Add New Command button right there at the bottom. And you want to type a command. Where is it? Right here, it says Command Name. Uh, copy document, or you can, you know, whatever command you want to write you want to wanna, you want to name it something that you normally don't use a lot in in your as you dictate or whatever as you write so something where is this going to be kind of unique to that all right now next what you're going to do is go through and start creating your keystrokes so you click the plus button here and you want to leave the a there and click the command button for command A, of course, right? And let's do it again. And this time we're going to put the letter C in there and click the command button. And then to get the arrow, you're going to do the plus button again. Oh, what happened here? It got rid of all those. Oh boy. That was weird. Okay, let's just uh, do that one. And do C. And then for this one, you're going to go down to the uh, click the arrow button. 
I hear. And you can leave the A in there, I believe, on that one. That's fine. So, um, basically, it, it's already in the order in which it should appear. You know, com uh, Command A, then Command C, and arrow button. But if yours is not in the order, you can take these and you can move them up and down and put them in the order that you want. So, after you do that, then you just click the Save button and um, then go to a text document or what have you and just run the command and see how it works. So let me know if that works for you and uh, if you like it, you know, let me know some other about some other commands that you created in Dragon Dictate. It really empowers you to use, utilize these commands in Dragon Dictate because the ultimate goal is that you want to kind of navigate your computer without having to use your hands a lot because it's just going to increase your productivity. Alright, thanks a lot. I appreciate it. Bye-bye.